All right, so I'm here at the Best Western on 83rd Avenue and um, McDowell. You can see, that's the Best Western. I'm in the semi-truck. This truck right here is a city truck from the city of Tolleson. Several of them pulled up. There's one over there. This gentleman was courteous. This one's an asshole. He sees my truck here. It's the big rig. He blocks their entire driveway right there for a business. So I'm going to get more of his information and put it up and I'm going to send it over to the city of Tolleson because this is just being an asshole. Now I don't know what you have to do but at least you can either pull up and park. There's a dirt lot where that truck is parked right there, that city truck. There's a dirt lot. He could have pulled up over there. Instead, this ass to the hole. <laughs> he pulls up and he blocks the entire, this portion of the driveway. Where I'm parked at is back like, because I can't go obviously go under there because I'm a bobtail, but I went to go get my bags out. So I'm leaving for the morning. This asshole blocks this entire section. So I am going to send something over to the city of Tolleson on them. And I'm going to get a picture of the truck. Uh, but this right here, it's bad for the business. It's discourteous as a citizen. And what makes you do some shit like that? I mean, it just, come on, guys. Come on. You know, little dick syndrome, little man syndrome. I don't know what it is, testosterone, but you got to get your life right. So I'm going to go ahead and send it over. Anyway, I'll show you more. I'm going to get the side of his truck, everything, put all of it up there. City of Tolleson, y'all need to talk to your, your public works people. This right here is bad for the business. It's bad as just even a city employee to be discourteous like this to the, to the business and to the basically the patrons of the business. I'm a patron. So, y'all need to get your life right. I'm going to get pictures of the truck as I go by. What's up, people? Take that off. So, I'm trying to get it to start waving, and it is doing it. I just gotta be more consistent with the brushing. Um, I'm gonna put a video up for y'all because I had an issue when I left the hotel with Public Works in Tolleson. I went ahead and called and left a complaint on, I don't know who he was, but I got the license plate of the truck. I'll tell y'all more about it in a minute, but I'm gonna show y'all my new hats, and I got a special hat for my birthday. So, I picked this up at the K Momo. I think I did this on my truck, on the Trucker 411. But it's called Street Bullies. It's like 15 bucks. No, this one was 12. This one was 12. Anyway, I like this hat. So, I got that one. And I'm told you I'm a raised letter hat person. Then they had this one on sale for $14.97. So, 15 bucks. I haven't taken the tag off it because I really haven't worn it yet. And this is Echo Unlimited. Not bad. It's, these are uh, snapbacks. I call them trucker caps because it's the old trucker style snapbacks. And then this one I picked up today. I went to go pick up some other ones that I had seen that I liked uh, today, but I left them and somebody else probably bought them over the weekend. So I picked up this one because it was up there and I like the raised lettering. It's very simple, but I don't have a green hat. So it's green, black, and red. So that was interesting. So I got it and it is. It's called uh, Rocksmith, so that's the RS stand for Rocksmith. I have no idea who that is. I just like to raise lettering, and I thought it was an interesting conversation, co co uh, combination, and it was $5.90 on sale, so I got that. And then I had a special made hat for my birthday. So, this is my special made hat, y'all. And on the side, trucker doll. So I get on the side, and it's my special made hat. So, um... They had these on snapbacks, but I love flex fits. So it's a flex fit. You see the flex fit? And so, um, really nice lady. They were in the mall that I went to near the hotel. And um, I'm going to put their company below. So if you're here in Arizona, you're a trucker, you want to get a hat. I know that in, um, I wanted her to put it here, but it looked funny because she had one here and here, but it looked off center. Where it said trucker and then doll, but it was just off center. So she said she held and I, she put it on this side. I could have probably done both sides, but I put it on the left side. Um, this hat 
bucks, 20, 20 something dollars, 25 bucks. So that's a tax write off. But I'm also looking at a company to do our logos. I know DCI Jam said he had a place. I don't know, they charge like if you buy the hat, it had the plane hat is 15 bucks. And then they'll do the design on there. So I'm figuring 15, 20 dollars. I'll see. Um, I've got to reach out to the logo company. I've just this weekend has been very busy. I told you my first part of the week ended up dealing with the whole student drama. And then the other part was dealing with birthday stuff. Had about just under eight, nine people show up for the birthday dinner. Uh, we were supposed to have close to 10, maybe 13. Uh, but one of my friends, her son's birthday is right around the same time. And their father died last year. So she was going to come. And then she's like, I got to cancel because their kids weren't doing good with this whole being a birthday. Their dad ain't no longer here. So forth, so on. So that was one. So it was going to be her and her daughter. And then another one, I guess, I didn't know she was married. She got a stepson or something, and there was issues with him. But we had a good time. We had some Mexican food. We chilled out. Um, everybody got to know. Some people had met before, and some people got to meet new people. So I'm all about meeting new people um, and that interaction. So did that. I'm going to go over and get me some Vietnamese pho. I'm going to upload this video, and um, y'all will see what happened. But here, in the essence, is what took place. When I left the hotel today, um, I was parked in the back of the hotel, and I only brought the bobtail. I like bringing the bobtail with me because if I leave something on, then I have to go all the way back to the terminal to get it. The terminal is literally five minutes from the hotel, okay? <clears throat> I did not stay at the hotel the company normally uses, which is directly behind the Best Western I stayed at. Um, I stayed at Best Western in Tolleson, Arizona. Now... I don't know what's up with the public people who work for the city of Tolleson, but a lot of them are assholes. I had uh, the DOT guy, God forgive me, it was going to be real. I was parked in the dirt lot because they told hotels, the other hotel, the company hotel, told me, hey, if we don't have any parking here, just people park in that dirt lot all the time. So I parked in the dirt lot. There were no signs saying you couldn't park in the dirt lot. And he saw me sitting in here. I told you all about that. And I think he thought it was a black man. And he was a DOT. And the guy just was a little short. Officer dude, and we figured he had a little man syndrome. I don't know what's up with the little guys. Guys, y'all don't have to, you know, you know, if you just be nice people or decent folk, nobody cares your ass is short. I'm short. Nobody cares. You know, they, ain't nobody trying to get with you. If you, you know, if you, I've seen short guys with tall chicks, short guys with they same size chick. As long as she treats you decent, what's your problem? You know, if you act decent, you get decent. That's how my attitude is. But maybe you mad because you're short and you envy somebody else, and that's already a problem. Stop envying other folks. Um, but anyway, so today I'm at the hotel. Um, the bobtail's parked in the back. So I carry out part of my bags, my smaller, like, shower bag stuff, my backpack with my laptop in it. I carry those out to the truck, and I had the big, the bigger bag, 25-inch bag, I told the lady I'm going to come back and get that because the truck was parked all the way in the back. So I hauled all my stuff that I had with me to the truck. I have two laptops in this bag. So I have my old one and I have the new one that I just bought. Uh, thank you, Walmart. $249 and Amazon has sold that laptop for almost $400 something. So, um, same laptop. Same freaking laptop. Um, good ratings too. Touch screen. Nice laptop. Anyway... Lo and behold, I turn around and, um, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, I know what it is. I turn around and the, I'm trying to think who it is. I, I park, I, I bring the bobtail around the front. So if you know how hotels are, they have that curve where you come in and you can drop off your passengers or drop your luggage off, check in, then go park your car. Well, obviously, I can't take the bobtail under that, but where I pulled up, there were three handicap spaces just on the other side of that little curvy thing. And I did block, like, the first two handicapped places to be out the way, but I was only going to be running in for a minute and then grab my stuff, and only one handicap space was involved. Directly in front of the truck is probably two car lengths to the, to the, the, the uh, driveway to drive in and drive out. All of a sudden, three public safety trucks come in. One public safety truck comes in. He just blocks the driveway, blocks their entry for the hotel for people to turn into the hotel. And so the other guy pulls up, and then he, the other two public works total gentlemen. One goes and parks there on the facility at the Best Western. The other one pulls off on the sidewalk and parks in the dirt. Okay? This guy leaves his shit just parked there. So I film it. 
When I drove up, I took a picture of the back of his license because I was going to file a complaint. So I said to him, I said, you know, there's plenty of parking here at the Best Western. Well, you're blocking. I said, no, sir. I wasn't blocking their whole driveway. And secondly, I'm a patron. I just checked out of this hotel. I stayed. Well, I pay taxes. I can park anywhere the fuck I want to park. <laughs> Public works dude talking to me like shit. Long beard. I don't know if he's Latino. I don't know if he's white. He was a dick. Um, long beard. Total asshole. I'm putting everything up. Everything. City of Tolleson putting it all up. And I didn't put up the interaction. I'm holding on that part. But I'm going to put up where he was parked, how he's, I'm going to put all that shit up for y'all. I I called, I made a complaint, City Hall transferred me over to some other person and put me over to a voicemail. But I'm going to do a written complaint as well, because I don't trust just the voicemail. This guy was such a dick. I have the right to park where I want to, I pay taxes, I I live here. I said, well, so do I. Just because I'm staying at the hotel, don't mean this ain't my home state. I pay taxes here in Arizona. I live here in Arizona. I work out of Arizona. And when I come in, this is where I relax and chill. And you, sir, with your little man syndrome or whatever the hell it is, you want to pull up in your truck. I said, if you think your truck makes you a big man, well, obviously, I got the bigger dick here right now. I said, so, I don't know what your problem is, and I'm not talking to you crazy. I kindly told you, this right here is ignorant. And just because you, he said, I have the right, I said, just because you have the right to do something, doesn't mean you should do it. I got the right to get out this truck and slap the shit out of you. But does that mean I should do it? I have a free will right to do it. Now, there's going to be repercussions for that. But does it mean it's right to do it? So, does it mean it's right? It's like the border crap we got. Oh, we, right now, legally, we have stuff that's allowing them to legally do it. But does it make it right? Something is wrong with folk. Something is wrong with folk. Just because you have the right to do something doesn't mean you do it. It just straight up ignorant. So, um, I, anyway, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to get me some lunch, go sit down and relax. I'm going to wear this hat right now. Yeah, I'm wear this hat right now. It's nice, too. I like the little truck of doll on the side. I like that. And I like the little, I like the lion. But anyway, they had one that was snapped back, and then she says, oh, I got the, 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 the flex fit. I was like, Put the lion on the flex fit with the trucker doll on there. She said, Yeah, I said, hook that up. So she did. So I'm probably gonna get some more made. Um, but we're gonna have some for the trucker 411 too and get some made for the for the team. Um, I'll probably do that next time I'm in town. Anyway, y'all, be blessed. Um, and shout out to everybody. That's some new people. That's some new people. Anyway, I'll do another shout out video a little bit later as I add up new people. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and y'all have any topic requests, put them below. Um, I'll be doing a series, as I said, on the Trucker Pro 1. I'm going to do something about the shortage. And it was funny because I ran into an old school trucker who lost his, he blames trucking for his marriage ending. And it does, it, 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 it has some issues with, 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 with the, the men out there. But I also think you need to know who you're marrying. If, if, if you marry somebody and they can't wait, and they horny and going out screwing everybody and their mama, that's a problem because it sounds like you might not be able to even leave home for a couple of days and they might do the same thing. I'm just saying. It's crazy as hell. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we got some new hats. Bam. 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 Yep, so y'all know I like raised leather hats. Anyway, I'm going to put this video up in a few minutes. Two and two, y'all be blessed, be safe. But, yeah, I don't know, I come home and it's always some drama. I wonder if the Lord is trying to show me, Shannon, you need to find a new state of home. And I think I am, I'm really leaning that way. As soon as I try to get this lap band done uh, and get the financial stuff done, I'm doing that. I ordered a book uh, it's called uh, The Richest Man in Babylon, I think it is. I had the book before, but I'm going to read that. And um, getting ready to get my mind on my money and my money on my mind i'm also getting my spiritual stuff in order and uh, i'll be letting y'all know kind of what i'm doing to deal with me as you get older you have to start uh, reevaluating life and uh, definitely preparing for retirement i've signed up for my aarp lots of discounts So I signed up for that thanks to my friend Bridget. And my official birthday is not until the 26th, which is tomorrow. 
Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So that's the official birthday. I'm supposed to be going back out on the 27th, but I'm going to have to push it to the 28th because all my packages are coming in on the 27th. Yes, they are. So thank you to my friend Vivian who uh, was getting my packages for me because the Joe was out of town. Um, but yeah. So anyway, after this, I'm going to go. I had to go and work on. I'm going to be setting up the uh, my own uh, trucking rules and little manual for my students.